peace. So God sends a child into the darkness and, and Isaiah describes this child with sweeping power. This is a fourfold description of the Messiah. There are 250 titles of the Messiah in the Bible. Nowhere in the Bible do you see these four packed together like this. Really nowhere in the Bible do you see four packed together ever, ever anywhere. But here Isaiah takes fourfold description of the Messiah, packages it together and gives us a sweeping definition of the ministry, the person and the work of Jesus Christ. So what is he? He's a wonderful counselor. He is the counselor that means the helper. He walks with you through your problems in life. He shoulders the heavy load. He promises to work all things together for your good. He's someone who works with you through all your problems. And this is the infinite and mighty God doing these things. This isn't your you know, friend, your sixth grade friend. This isn't uh, you know, your, your contemporary, your peer. This is almighty God coming alongside of you as your counselor. Wonderful counselor. The word wonderful is uh, never used of anything to do with human beings. It's only used to describe divine activity. It even has this supernatural element to it that it's miraculous counseling, it is divine counseling, it is counseling that can only come from a supernatural source. This isn't worldly wisdom, this is supernatural wisdom that is given to you in your time of need whenever you need it most. It is perfect wisdom given to you. He is your wonderful counselor. Uh, I I mentioned in the Christmas musical sermon that um, I read the other day that the reason mankind fell into sin is because of bad counseling. And I think they were trying to maybe attack counseling. That's probably not wise. Counseling is great. We could all use a little counseling, okay? Counseling may have happened, or counseling may have been what caused humanity to fall into sin. But even if counseling was the cause of our ruin, our redemption is also brought about through the greater, wonderful counselor, Jesus Christ. Some people say counseling's a waste of time, you know, it only gives you language to help you speak intelligently about your problems so that other people will be impressed and feel sorry for you. Uh, That's uncharitable definition. Uh, But even if that's true, whatever counseling, whatever uh, negative things people may say about counseling, the wonderful counselor, Jesus Christ, is the one who never leaves, he never forsakes you, he's always there, he's near you, he's beside you, he's not just detached and distant and disinterested, but he's giving you exactly what you need in the moment to, pers- to persevere. He's the wonderful counselor. He's the mighty.